Hello and welcome to QuickLink TX Quick Start Guide. In this video, I will be showing you the main interface for Skype TX. Once you are powered on your unit, the Skype TX client will load automatically on startup. You will then be presented with a EULA by Microsoft. Once you have read and agreed to the EULA, click Accept. Please note that each QuickLink TX unit will need to have a unique Skype account to make and receive calls. Before you can start using Skype TX, first you need to sign in. When you first start up Skype TX, you will see the current screen. From here you can enter your Skype ID to sign in. If you want to use a Microsoft account to sign into Skype TX, click Sign in with a different account in the bottom left. Then select Microsoft account. For this video, I will be using my Skype ID. At the bottom right of the window, there is a checkbox with the option to automatically sign into Skype TX on launch. Check this for Skype TX to automatically sign in on startup. Once signed in, you'll be greeted with a main Skype TX home interface. The sign in details will appear in the top right of the client. The sections we will be focusing on in this video will be the middle section, showing the four video previews. The top left preview marked with a red frame is the incoming video. During a Skype TX call, this will be the video that is being received by the caller. The bottom left preview marked with a green frame will be the STI output. The bottom right preview marked with a yellow frame is the video input. This is the video source that has been selected and is being sent back to the caller during a call. The top right preview marked with a purple frame is the still image capture of the incoming video feed. To capture an image from the sender's video, press the blue camera button underneath the box. It is best to capture a still image of the incoming video at the start of a call. The next step for creating a call is to add a new user. To add a new user, press the add user icon. You will now be able to enter a new user which will be added locally to the machine. The display name is the name which will be displayed on the contact card. The location can be the current location of the user. The username is the Skype ID of the user you are adding. The group selection is so you can place users in different groups for categorization. If you wish to assign the contact to a different group, ensure the group required is selected. To switch between groups, select any group from the group down box located at the top left of the contact panel. To edit a recently added contact, select the edit button, which is the blue icon on the contact card. This will allow you to edit all the details for that contact. When assigning a contact to a different group, it will be updated automatically. To delete a contact, select the bin icon located at the bottom left of the contact edit window. To cancel any changes, press the cross button. To call a recently added contact, select the green phone icon next to the contact card. Please note, making a call relies on the remote caller being signed in and having the Skype settings configured to allow calls from users who are not on their contact list. Once the remote caller answers the call, it will display the incoming video on the SDI output and incoming video boxes. If the arrows at the top left of the call status box do not all turn green, please ensure the remote caller has accepted to send audio and receive video. Skype TX can take a snapshot of the remote caller. You can use this snapshot as a backup image if the call quality drops below the minimum video resolution that you have defined. You can also use the snapshot if the video feed from the remote caller drops entirely, leaving a snapshot and the remote caller's audio feed. To take a snapshot, click the camera icon underneath the snapshot preview. The icons below the SDI output feed are used to set the video player options. The always show video icon which is on the left will always send the incoming video to air. The fallback to still option will display the incoming video till the video quality drops below the user set resolution threshold. The send snapshot to air will send the captured image to air. To end the call, press the red phone icon. To sign out of the Skype TX application, press the sign out button at the top right of the interface. 
find out any more information or to see our other products, visit our website at www.quicklink.tv. To read the latest updates about Quicklink TX, follow our Twitter page, www.twitter.com forward slash quicklinktx. Or to join in on group discussions, search for Quicklink TX on LinkedIn. Please subscribe for more videos.